Hey there, trainers. Today, I'm super excited to share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how to get and play Pokemon Legends ZA on your PC. But before we get started, listen up. Make sure you have the official game. I don't want Team Rocket coming to my door with a lawsuit, and you don't want that either. So, make sure you own a physical or digital copy of the game before you start emulating. We're all about playing fair, right? Okay, now that we're all good on that, let's talk about the four important files you'll need to get Pokemon Legends ZA running on your PC. Step 1. Download Eden Emulator. First things first, open up your web browser. Any browser will do, even your trusty old Pokédex browser if you've got one of those. Search for Eden Emulator in Google. Click on the first result, and that should take you to the official Eden Emulator website. Once you're on the site, click the big download button. Eden Emulator works on Android, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows, but for now we're focusing on Windows, so go ahead and click that Windows download button. Easy, right? Next, scroll down a little bit until you see a section called Assets. Click Show All 15 Assets and find the Eden Windows zip file. Go ahead and download it. Once it's finished, time to install. Now create a new folder on your desktop called Eden Emulator. Don't forget the name. It's like a Pokemon ball for your emulator. Open the zip file, grab all the files inside and drag them into your brand new folder. Once you've done that, open the folder and click on the Eden application file to launch the emulator. Boom, Eden's up and running, time to catch M all. Step two, get your switch keys and firmware. Now we need to get our hands on something super important, Nintendo Switch firmware and keys. You'll need to have a Nintendo Switch that's been customized or jailbroken, but that's a whole other story. If you don't know how to do that, don't worry, I've got your back. Just scan the QR code on screen with your phone, and it'll send you to a page with everything you need. The keys, firmware, and the XCI file for Pokemon Legends Z. Once you've got all three files, you can send them to your PC via USB or Bluetooth, like sending a Pokemon ball from your phone to your computer. Step 3. Install the firmware and keys in Eden. Time for the next step. We need to install those keys and firmware files into Eden Emulator. Without these, Eden can't run Switch games. It's like trying to battle without a Pokeball. ball. So go to Tools in Eden, click Install Firmware from Zip File, and find the firmware zip file you just downloaded. Hit Open and let Eden install the firmware. Next, we'll install the decryption keys. Go back to Tools and click Install Decryption Keys. Unzip your keys file, find the product and title keys, and install both. Once that's done, Eden will be ready to run those Switch games. You're almost there. Step 4. Optimize Eden for maximum power. Okay, we're almost at the finish line, but before we jump into Pokemon Legends ZA, let's make sure Eden's running at max power. You don't want any glitches or lag like a Zubat flying into a wall, right? I'll show you all the settings you need to adjust for the best performance. You can pause the video and follow along with each setting, making sure everything's perfect. Once you've done that, you'll be all set to play Pokemon Legends ZA without any problems. Quick disclaimer, now just a heads up, I can't show you any gameplay of Pokemon Legends ZA because of how strict Nintendo is about emulation. If I did, 
they'd probably send a bunch of Snorlaxes to sit on my YouTube account and ban me. But don't worry, if you follow all the steps in this video, you'll be able to play the game on your PC no problem. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to hit like, ring the notification bell and subscribe, it'll help me out tons. Thanks for watching trainers, I hope you're ready to catch them all on your PC, see you in the next one.